sorry guys my hair is a little messy but i just want to hop on real quickly this is future kelly editing this video um i just finished editing this video and i realized that this video is a tiny bit all over the place just because i don't really know how to tell story times i feel like that's why but if you guys don't understand feel free to comment down below let me know any questions or comments or even concerns or just anything that you guys have questions on i'd love to answer i read all comments hi guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video it's going to tell my title today i'm going to do a video on how i got my license at 17 story time yes i don't really do story times on my youtube channel because that's not really my thing and two i really suck at story time so i had to literally write and plan out everything i was going to say in this book and there's like a few pages there's quite a few pages on here because I one don't want to miss anything out and two make sure I do the, the story time in order or will this be a lot of bloopers you know but that's that but before I get started make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up and let's go into the video Woo. so I just wanted to make a little disclaimer I'm not trying to brag in any way shape or form I just want to tell you guys the side of my story and how my experience went and sorry this took um, a little quite of time to be uploaded but I wanted to do post this video exactly on December 30th because on December 30th of last year 2019 I got my permit so I just wanted to make a little bit special this original video was going to be posted on December 25th because since I didn't ask for anything for Christmas this is all I wanted just to get my license I was like no I think I'm gonna do it on December 30th because that's a year from this day that's this video is being posted out that I got my permit so I just wanted to make a little bit special so I decided to post this on this day so I'm really sorry for the wait I got my de uh, license December 7th of 2020 but I'll get into all those details later on before watching this video you guys could also watch on how I got my permit and story time definitely up here definitely click on that just a little warning the audio is very bad because I filmed on my camera and I did not have a mic and I still to this day don't have a mic because one I do not really use my camera as video because it's not really format for videos and two like I don't really use my camera like that so I could think I need to play around with the audio and stuff like that so I haven't got to that sadly so I need to start working on that too I could definitely go watch out love for you guys and I'm in the world for you guys to watch that first and then come back here to watch Watch this video or watch this one first and then go to my permanent video up to you guys okay so now to start the story time for real for real so uh my real test was december okay so those of you guys that do not know my birthday was december 5th 2020 of course but my year is 2003 my birthday this year was december 5th 2020 my road test was december 7th 2020 it's supposed to be on your birthday but the dmv here was closed um i don't know if they closed on weekends or maybe just for that day but it was closed so i took it that following week because my birthday landed on friday so i took the weekend i party oh i didn't really party i just went to new york city if you guys want to go watch that vlog definitely go watch it up here I went to two of my cousins it's really so much fun i just i love i never I, it was also my first time going to new york city by myself with them too so if you guys want to go see that vlog click up in the icon anyway sorry that's so irrelevant um my real test was at 8 a.m. exactly on December 7th, 2020. Okay, so I was feeling very, very, very nervous and excited at the same exact time because uh, I was always excited to get my license that day. I was also very nervous I was gonna fail something. Thank God I did it and I passed it on the first try and um i'm very blessed and grateful that that happened okay so on the day i couldn't really film but i did get some clips when my um teacher because you had to bring a car and like a parent slash teacher of like the driving school i don't have a car currently and my parents couldn't come because when we didn't have the car so where would they go you know and they also had to work so they didn't come along with me but my driving school teacher did it with the car and i did have to pay for that day for using their car and for bringing the teacher along so i brought the teacher with me so you need to bring that you have to make sure you have everything because i forgot one two things and i had to go back home and come back but that will be later on in the story but um make sure you have everything ready make sure you check information i obviously didn't do that because i don't know why normally i do i'm like very ocd about like certain things and i don't know why this got out of my hands definitely not happen again so here are some clips of me in the car i talk and i say how i'm feeling and um what am i doing but i did practice i got there like around six something and we got in line um at 7 30 a.m we were pretty early but when we were in line i was like the third person in line there was a lot of cars behind me so i'm glad i was one of the first few early birds and i got it and i finished it i just wanted to get over with it because it was stressing me 
out. Uh, I also had school today, but I had to cancel school for myself because I couldn't, obviously, because I had to take my road test. I didn't think it was going to take that long, but it took the whole day. And I also have clips of me being, like, very annoyed because I have to go back home and then come. And it's just like, ugh. But I do have videos, but let me just show the clips of me in the car talking. Okay, guys, so today is literally my road test. I am very, very nervous, but excited at the same time. The test is not until 8 o'clock. It's only 7.05. So, I woke up. We left from here, um, from my house around 6. And I woke up at 5.30, and I started getting ready, you know. And, yeah, so this car I'm in, like, my friend over there is They're making a quick phone call, but... I am like very scared but excited at the same time. I'm in the car, like what? I literally know I'm gonna do good, I'm gonna pass. Only thing is that they said that the road itself is gonna be like a little very tight. So I'm really hoping that I really do not hit the car. That's my only thing so we can hit the curb and everything, but I really don't wanna do any of that. But mostly if you hit the cones, it's an automatic fail and your bro does not want that. But I really hope I got my license today and or at least I hope I really pass. It doesn't really matter about the license, I just hope I pass. And um yeah, this is how everything looks like. We got this. Okay, so after showing you guys those clips, um I obviously practiced like I said, but what I practiced on were parallel parking, reverse, um, reversing back, K turn, fully stopping at stop signs, and just driving around. So basically five things and um of course like turning on your blinkers and stuff like that you know fixing adjusting your mirrors that was also part of the test but i feel like that's just common sense but these are the most five things that you need to learn and know how to and at least here in new jersey or at least my test over there where i took at the dmv they said the only thing that um i could literally pass but if i hit the cone the cones i was an automatic fail and when i heard about that i was like oh my god it had it really fresh in my mind the day of the test we were there a few hours early i woke up very early we went to go practice we didn't practice on the court it was just like a nice row we just practiced on so i i had a f nice feeling of it that i was gonna do good which i obviously did and um yeah i was very paranoid though because me hitting the cone that was the only thing that i was like very afraid of hitting because it was an automatic fail if you hit the cone finally at last i took the road test finished it i did really good i was very nervous though which i thought i was gonna do something very wrong and i'm telling you i was like this the whole time you know i was like trying to make a small combo just so like you know but i was not making it a big combo where like yeah i'm just trying to get this you know i'm trying to just pass this i was just making small combos like can you please turn around I'm like yeah sure of course you know always of course also you gotta do it over the hand you don't go you don't want to go like cross you just want to go one two one two like that so i did that um it's just like very key point obviously i'm gonna talk about all the stuff that i did but this is one of the five points that i already mentioned this is where it all starts going down kind of but it comes right back up but um so we were in line like i said you have to be prepared and know what you need to bring and what to bring that day what to do that day what to know i have literally no one in like family i guess you could say that has my license so i don't I couldn't really like ask anyone. I literally asked until that day, which is something you should guys never do because I was stressing out so bad. But anyway, um, I got in line. Yeah, they gave you all a ticket with a number on it. And I forgot the ticket I was in, but I was in line and I was waiting in line for a good 10 minutes. And I just, out of curiosity, I was like, wait let me just ask first what i need like i don't know but it just came to my mind i was like wait i should ask what i need to do or what i need to bring what i need to have my six points of verification whoops sorry about that where am i ring light it's literally currently nighttime right now but sorry it's just you see i just get out of like out of my lot out of my train my sort of times you know that's why you have this bad boy with me <laughs> but yeah like i said so I, I went to that person and i was like what do i need they said i needed um the pscg bill my birth certificate my cs no my ssm which is my social security number which i had um a passport which i had and i had everything but the pscg bill and my school id so i had to go all the way back home and come back to the dmv the only good thing about this that saved me a 
ton because I live like a good 30 minutes from the DMV because it's on a highway and god my teacher was in hand and he was also getting paid too so that's why i was like okay great i'm not just doing a favor just for free like he was getting paid because i used their car and he came in with me so i went to practice too i just all came that was a lot of money i'm telling you i spent a lot of money in all of my classes but it was worth it at the end and yeah so he was really kind enough to bring me home get my stuff that i needed it took me a while to find it and then i went back there like another 30 minutes later, i lost my spot in line my number thingy but at first they weren't gonna let me in because my continue with the number the dmv was um over their capacity limit with the people so we had to wait in the cars either way so it wasn't technically a lie and you also had to get three text messages which i didn't get at all even to this day i haven't gotten it so um it was like not really a lie i was just like the truth but like not really you know what i mean but yeah once i came back from my house back to the dmv my teacher said he couldn't stay with me because he had to do other things so then i got at the night the dmv like around 9 50 a.m um in line you no know, one started like really attending me and they had to like at first the first line was to make sure you had all your papers and stuff and then you had to go back in line and wait and then the second time was when they filled out your registration uh, for i mean your registration your uh license your probationary license like information onto it your picture um yeah i got it i finally got it it took a very long time and i got out of the dmv at 4 30. my mom came like around three ish i want to say she got the uber and she met me at the dmv so she came with me because um just in case so we needed her which we almost did because they asked questions about the ksng but i didn't know what to answer because i do not do that stuff that's just my parents so i'm glad my mom was there to answer the questions which they were asking for once they took my picture it was time for my picture obviously because this picture that i have on here was a first time and i was gonna do a read over but i was like i wasn't having it because i was up since 5 30 a.m they picked me up like around six something we got there at 6 40 we started practicing at seven ish um it took us a while to get the dmv we had to go to his house first because he uh forgot something and then we had to go to the dmv like like right next to the dmv there's like a little practice place it's not a court it really isn't a court it's just like a nice place to practice um we got there uh finished off course i was very annoyed after i got my license i was very happy but also annoyed because one i didn't eat at all also i learned my lesson to always eat breakfast before you go anywhere that's a bad habit of me i don't eat breakfast at all in the mornings and i think like that's what goes bad in later afternoon later at night and i was like i was just over everything later on my mom and i just went to costco we went to go eat um because like we have this costco in the mall like i said so we went to the mall later on um i want to show some clips of we had like a little celebration in my house um like i got some flowers as we were celebrating we also uh drank apple cider stuff or sparkling i don't know what's it called i'll show like little videos and clips of in the video here i'm very grateful i'm very excited that i finally have my probationary license not my license license but my probationary license and yeah i also got a little gift from my family I bought myself this blanket it is so pretty I also bought me myself my this wallet that I will use it be using now that I have my probationary license. I'll probably put it there or behind my phone. Okay, so on this exact day, I got my license, so we celebrated that, and also, we also cut another cake because you can never have too many, and we also drank apple cider that my dad blasted open. And I just want to document this. Like I said, this is not meant for me to brag. And this is how my license looks like. I just covered everything up my face in New Jersey. Because I live in New Jersey, those of you guys do not know. Um, but yeah, this is the picture. It's the first these. I actually like it a lot. I like it a lot. A thousand times. And I'm very grateful and happy. And this is basically it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed so much. I am very grateful. Like I said, I'm very sorry for the lateness. I did get my license December 7, 2020. But this video is going to be out on December 30th, which is technically tomorrow. Because today is the 29th. I'm very late because I had a lot of things going on. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you guys stuck to the end, make sure to comment.
the crazy little emoji that goes like that. Three of those. Down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much and see you guys until next video. Until next vlog. Bye guys. Listen to my. Listen to my. Listen to my.